All right, so moving right along, we are going to place the oil lines on this. I've already replaced one right here. My last video when I was redoing the carburetor. That's simple enough. Just run a line from here to here, and I'm using, uh, let's see here. Roughly 3 16 by, just barely touch it. Should be 1 8th, 3 16 by 1 8 diameter. Or 1 8th, so 3 16 OD, 1 8 ID. And I, I'm hoping that we'll go through these holes. I measured these out, and they're about 150 thousandths. So this is the oil. There's two different holes on here, one and one, two. This top one right here is going to go to this guy right here. And the bottom one goes here. The top one also barely comes through here. I'm gonna look up the parts diagram on this because I found this in the bottom of the uh, tank here, but this is going to go to a piece of hose. So we'll go right there. That's going to go to a piece of hose right here in some kind of vent. So we'll start with that one. I'm just going to get a cut on this so I can slip it in there. Got that in the tank. A pair of pliers. Hopefully this guy pulls right through here. Just not too sure about the size of this. Yeah, it's not wanting to come through. Okay, there it went. Got a little cleaner cut on it that time. I was able to pull it through. It's very tight. So that's through there. Now I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna attach this to that and then pull it back through the other way. I'll get a little bit more out of there. So that's through there like that. And I'm just gonna pull this back a little ways. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm just gonna leave it right there. This is gonna go on here like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip that one right about there. So the next one is going to actually go down into the tank for the oil filter. And this one's gonna be a bit more complicated to, uh, to get to with pliers. So I'm probably gonna have to run this starter a little bit longer. Same process here. There it is down there. And hopefully we can get to this thing. Use a nice longer pair of pliers. Get down in there and grab it. There 
here it goes. Okay. So that's coming through now. I want this to be long enough that it's gonna sit in the bottom of this tank. I suspect that'll do. Once I shove the filter with it on there, back through, I am, I blew this out already, but I'm reusing this oil filter because it looked perfectly fine. I'm just gonna snip that off. Get this filter on there. Get that on there. Shove this back through. And make sure that's down there in the bottom. It is, it's hitting in the bottom. It doesn't look like it's gonna come out of the bottom part of that. Again, I'm gonna hold this up to here. This one goes to here. I'm gonna give it just a tad extra in case I got some finagling to do. And cut it off. That's done. Fuel line goes on here like this. Fuel line goes from a hole right here to the carburetor. Well, this one's way easier. Get those long blue needle nose again. Get that. Pull it right through. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing like that'll probably be roughly long enough. Trim off that 45 area. I just had this fuel filter laying around. I suspect this will be fine. Put that on there. Filter is going to go back through. Same thing, I'm going to kind of shove it around in there until it gets to where I want it. I'm just taking a look down there, making sure it's on the bottom of the tank. It is. So I'm gonna put this back in place. Roughly, this is a rough dimensions here. This back in place and the fuel line goes to right on that side of the carb. Give it just a tad extra. You always cut more off. And that's it. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, reassemble this entire thing now. That's the next step. Okay, I'm going to uh, attempt to reassemble this thing. It's been like a week or two since I took it apart, so I'm a tad rusty on it, but I think the first thing I'll do is uh, take out this spark plug. I know we need to get this around there. And if I recall, it was easier to have that muffler removed. So how I remember doing this was kind of uh, getting this this is a little bit tricky, but getting this plug wire kind of over that back of this like that and around here. And then this blue wire up out of the way. And this whole, let's see if I'm missing anything. Let's take all of this out. Oil lines. This is going to go to this little short one right here. It's going to go to the one on the left. The one that does not have a connecting block on it. Get that around there. Okay. okay. 
this guy goes this one. Gas lines here. Gas line hooks up to the carburetor. Okay, so I got the, this tucked around here like that. This is the oil can, gas can goes up next to that. I got this kind of tucked in here. Let's try to shut this whole mess right back in place. I can see that screw right here popping through so it looks correct. Feels pretty good. Pull the plug wire back down. Thinking this is good. Hoping this is good. So we can test it in a second here. Okay, first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this, uh, run this wire, blue wire, back through here, down under here. Get it clipped on. there. Just like that. Okay. So this guy goes in there. I have to revert back to my pictures. Okay, so I got this thing in here. I had to do it off camera, but you just kind of pull this out. You put the bottom one in first, or at least I did. Hook it right there. And then as you're sliding it in, you hook it to the top one and then kind of push the whole thing in. This kind of needs to be back a little bit. So you just gotta finagle it until it looks like this. It's a real pain in the ass, honestly. Um, I'm sure uh, one out of 10 times it probably goes in perfect the first time, but yeah, anyways, that's how that is. Okay, just like that. And that covers that. So you've got your screw access, your choke. Okay. We're gonna fish this wire back through here again. Okay, now, then there's the 
Cheers. Two bolts on top. Two on the bottom. Hand threaded them, of course, in the beginning. So the plug is going to go back in. Plug wire. Muffler is going to go on. I think that's it. I hope. Now what the hell? Okay. Let's see what's going on under here now. For some reason the uh, pull starts not working. Not engaged. Okay, so I think what this is here is these little springs probably came apart as I was messing with it. I think these are supposed to tuck back in there like that. And back in there like that. Okay, I just realized I missed one more bolt on here. Last guy right here goes to the handle. And this is just a Phillips head. Um, I did tune the carburetor a little bit. I got it started up. Uh, but it's been like two or three hours now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fire it up again and see if everything works. Put some chain oil in this time. We'll see if the oil starts pumping or not. Hopefully it does. So I'm gonna choke it again, it's cold. And hopefully everything goes okay. First pull. After a minute or so, there's oil coming out of it. I had to make one more slight adjustment on the uh, the low, and I think I'm good to go. I'm just gonna get the uh, look for some specs and get a tachometer out. Hopefully, get it clipped onto here. 
and um, yeah, I think I should be able to clip it on down here and get some readings on it and see if I can find some specs on it and hook the, uh, the bar and the chain up and do one more final test run with it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up, uh, or attempt to hook up the bar and chain right now. It's already... Looped right there. Okay. Okay, maybe that was the right way to do it. So I took the block all the way back and I got it in there around that sprocket. Now this plate goes, it's marked front. Goes on there like that. So washer over it, tiny little nut. Just snugging that up. I hope this is on here. And start to uh, tighten the chain if it's in the right spot here. Make sure all the teeth, all the drive links are in the chain. I'll just do my normal thing for tightening a chain. That looks pretty good to me. I left up on the bar and I guess, I don't have a tool for this one. It's a 7 16 I think. I don't have a, I'm just using a socket here. Good and tight on that. 